How are you feeling? You got John Riggs here with the Brawler Gen from Retro Fighters. This is available in things to Castlemania games. I would love to check this out. It's available for your Genesis Mini. Now, I don't have a Genesis Mini, but I do have the Genesis Collection on the Nintendo Switch. This thing does work with your Nintendo Switch. The cool thing about this is not only just the Switch, but the Genesis Mini, but any other USB device. Maybe if you have like a RetroPie or something like that, or if you just want to play it through your PC. Perfect. This is exactly what you're looking for. Um, I'm going to play a few games on the uh, Genesis Classics Collection on the Nintendo Switch, and also there's going to be a little surprise game at the end of this video, too, that I want to check this out on. So so we'll see. We'll see what's going down. But I'm going to hit L and R to start. So far, so good. And uh, what's a good game? Let's see. I mean, there's a lot of great Genesis games here. Let's check out the collection here. Hmm. I mean, so far... It feels great. D-pad's great. Uh, the analog also works. The analog might be good for some uh, shooters. You know what? We're going to go straight to Space Harrier 2. Now, Space Harrier 2, if you've never played on the Sega Genesis, the frame rate's a little weird, but I like the fact that... Um, well, we're going to see here in just a second. Let's start. I played a lot of this game on the Sega Genesis when it first came out. I'm a huge Space Harrier fan. So you can see with the frame rate, but the frame rate has nothing to do with the controller. It's just how the how the game looks. But I like the fact, and you can't really see it here, but I like the fact that I can play it with the analog. That's easier on my thumbs. At my old age, I have you know getting arthritis and everything. It's like oof. I need all the all the support I can get. <laughs> with some of these games here. All right, how do I back out? Uh, hold to exit. Perfect. Neat. All right. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. What's a good game? What's a good game? Does Streets of Rage 3? Does this one have Streets of Rage 3 on it? It does. Perfect. I want to do Streets of Rage 3 because um, it uses all six buttons. Eternal Champions would do the same too. Might check out Eternal Champions while we're on here too. Uh, but games like uh, Street Fighter 2 for the Genesis Mini. Um, if you're not familiar, Street Fighter 2 on the Sega Genesis, if you're using a three-button controller, the start button switches from punch to kick, which is ridiculous and shouldn't even be an option. Um, however, if you have the six-button controller, it'll work just fine for you. Let's look at one player. Uh, Axel's fine, I guess. Sure, sure. Punching your so this one works fine. Although with the Z and the C buttons on when you play this game, the button combination, the button placement's a little off. Let me check out L and R. So you have to use like the L and R buttons for the other buttons because the C button and the Z button will rewind it. Doing there. Interesting enough, but anyway, but it works great. You just have to set up the button combination to, you know, how you would like it, or get used to using, you know, other button placement <laughs> on there or something like that. Uh, but let me check out the other game I had in mind. A couple of different modes, and I'm curious to check this out. Um. Oh, fun. And, uh, no complaints for me. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 I hit the wrong button. I just rewound everything. <laughs> oh, fun. I, this is this was kind of their mascot for uh, the Sega Master System. This was like their, their answer to Mario, kind of, but not really. But people claimed it as that because it's another platformer with a fun, cutesy, cartoony guy. I remember playing a lot of this. It's funny, I didn't actually play a lot of this. Um, I have it now. But growing up, I didn't. Um, I got my Master System kind of after my Sega Genesis, in a way. Um, but I played the Master System. 
um, at Montgomery Ward. That's how old I am. I played my Master System at Montgomery Ward because um, they had a little de demo kiosk thingy set up. Too fun. And again, this thing works great. I love it. I'm going to use this for more than just Genesis games, too. Like all those arcade games and stuff like that. This would be a great controller to have. It's tethered. This one is, um, you have to plug it into the USB on the Switch itself. Um, but I'm okay with that, because usually when I'm playing my Switch, I'm usually sitting like right here anyway, like close enough. So whether I'm plugged in or not, doesn't matter to me. So anyway, this is very cool. If you want to purchase yours, again, link in the description below through Castlevania. This is the Brawler Gen Retro Fighters controller. And um, it's a fun, fun little... Fun little thing to have, just in case. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this handy. I, li I like this. I'm, I'm liking this a lot. <laughs>